See, you can't hear. Make sure you can get to a place where you can. Now, just like before, if you move forward with blue in your palette now, we're changing colors. So that is going to make your colors dull once again. So put it back in your dirty water, rinse that off, because we're gonna switch now to an orange. All right, and notice you've got only three colors, red, yellow, blue. So how do we get orange? Red, yellow. Red, red yellow, you guys are geniuses. So we're gonna start with which, red or yellow? Red. Yellow, why yellow? Yellow is lighter. lighter. Yellow is lighter and weaker mixing. So. Now, does anybody know or can guess what our next step is going to be? You take the red and mix it in. Well, I mean, in your painting. <laughs> the building. Not just the building. Uh, everything. Everything. Everything that is not sky or clouds, we're now going to do with a light shade of orange. And again, I'm using this kind of pink-orange idea and applying it to this dull brown idea here. So I'm going to add a bunch of water to my palette. And I'm gonna do probably two or three times more water than I did with the blue, because the area of your paper is bigger. So just a ton of water here, and then get into that yellow, and you're gonna need a fair amount of it because it's just a weak, soft little color. Start with that, and then a touch of red will start to turn that into that peach kind of orange. I don't think I have enough water just yet, but keep mixing and adding it here. All right, and then just like before, we're gonna start across the top edge of everything. And this is where some of you run into problems is that you keep trying to paint like this. And really the best way is to just let gravity help you by pulling that drip down. And a lot of times you guys have been skipping like this window and that is going to just be a darker version of this color. So don't skip it. Make everything. You want to think about layering your washes. And you want to start by painting your biggest shapes first. So I had to reload my brush there. But now we're just going to make everything that isn't blue or white orange. And it's going to be a lighter version. There's some spots up here that I missed. You can come back and touch areas up as long as that's wet. It'll sort of just blend in as it drips down. And that's fairly easy and straightforward. This one should only take about five minutes or so. So we're gonna stop there and let you do that because the key to moving on is giving it a little bit of time to dry. You've gotta be patient. So I'm gonna let you do this wash and then when you come back up to look at the next stage, your, your painting will be drying and then you can go back and work without you know, dangerous results, okay? So everything else is a light shade of orange.